What is going on, Internet? My name is Lou, and I make Linux videos. So for those of you who are subscribed to my channel, you've probably just watched my recent Samba server video. In that video, I detail the step-by-step -step process involved in creating a Samba server on your Linux Mint, Ubuntu, or Debian desktop. Now one of the uses that you can use uh, the Samba server for in your home network is transferring or streaming files to an Android device. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to need is a, is a file manager. ES File Explorer is the one I, I use. You can get this right out of the Google Play Store. And if we open up ES File Explorer, you're going to see that it's going to go right to the root of our SD card by default. If we click in the upper left hand corner, this menu is going to pop up. And under Network, you see this option here that says LAN. When we click on that, we choose at the very bottom, Refresh, I'm sorry, Scan. And it's going to start scanning the network, and I am connected to my network via Wi-Fi. And there we go, it's found my Samba share. So when we set up our Samba server, to add another layer of protection, um, we selected a username and a password. So even though we're behind a firewall, we wanted another layer of protection. So as you can see down here, we can select Remember Password. So in the future, we don't ha if we want to connect to this particular Samba server, we do not have to keep supplying the password. So I'm going to uh, input those credentials. Okay, so now I've supplied the username and password. We're going to hit OK. And it was incorrect. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's select our username. All right, so here we go. Let's try this again. All right, that's a little bit better. So now we have our uh, shared folders displayed. We can go into music. And we can see all the music. We can come back to videos. We can see some videos I have up on there now. I'll show you guys uh, a bumper car video uh, for my brother's uh, bachelor party. I took him and all of the groomsmen out to Cape Cod. Um, for those of you from New England or who are familiar, um, it's a uh, nice little place uh, by the ocean. So anyway, we went to a bumper car place, and I'll play you that video. <laughs> so there we go. We're streaming right off of the Samba server. Now, one of the uses, again, and I've just made a video on this, is um, to be able to copy files as well. Those, a lot of you were not thrilled with the FTP method I showed you to transfer files. So if you wanted, you could transfer right off of your Samba server. So if we went into the Samba server here and uh, we decided to choose something, we'll pick anything. I'll pick this album here. Right at the bottom, we're going to select copy. Then we're going to click this little uh, icon right there. That's going to bring us back to the root of our SD card. I'm going to go into my music directory, and right at the bottom here, I'm going to select Paste. Now what you see happening is we're actually downloading that particular album right off of the Samba server to the SD card, or the emulated SD card, on my Motorola X. So it's not quite as fast as FTP, but um, it's pretty quick. So we are almost finished. And we're done. All right, so if I open up my music app, here's the album that I just downloaded from my Samba server. And that's it, guys. If you wanted to share files in your home um, LAN and you wanted to use your Samba server, something that is a little bit more secure than FTP, um, you can transfer files that way. So hopefully you like this uh, video, guys. If so, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more Android and Linux content in the future. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later.